Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are gonna be taking a look at two fragrances that I just recently picked up in a blind buy sort of online haul video. I'll be sure to link it here if you guys have not checked it out yet. I had a gift card to TJ Maxx Marshalls and I wanted to use it. As much as I love finding fragrances in the wild, going to the rack stores and actually finding a gem, that's fantastic and that is the majority of my rack store videos. But this time I wanted to go online, see what they had available and get the most out of my gift card. Let's take a look at these two. The first fragrance that I was able to grab is Loewe 7 Cobalt. And a lot of you guys have told me this is a must try if I'm into Loewe, which I have been. Love that house, quickly becoming my favorite house at the moment. And the next fragrance was kind of a throw in at the end of that video is Nashane's Caragaz. Caragaz. So I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is the 1.7 ounce 50 ml. It's an X straight day parfum and the Loewe is 100 ml. And I'm going to flash up right now my receipt and what I paid total after the gift card was put in. So let's take a look at Caragao's first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try these on skin. I am not wearing anything. So I'm going to skip the strip and in the interest of time, try these on skin and see how they develop and what I think of them. First impressions, total blind buy. So the uh, Nishane, this was perfumed by Jorge Lee, who has done other fragrances for Nishane. He's done Salt and Vetiver. He's done Hashivat. He's done Fan Your Flames just to name a few, which are some of the more popular hyped fragrances from that house. Caragaz is a, sort of a sleeper in the sense that it's not talked about as often in videos on YouTube, but it gets some love and I, I've heard a little bit about it, just not a lot. And obviously I've never tried it. So let's get into it. So right off the bat, I like Nishane's presentation here. It's got sort of this book style box with the little ribbon here to pull on. You have the gold foil uh, accents and the gold foil uh, name on the front of the box. So let's pull this out. I can literally already smell this. So, you know, Nishane is known for their strength and fragrances. And, you know, the couple that I've tried, it's been sort of hit or miss. It's some hype fragrances that I'm not completely in love with, but I'll be honest with you guys right now, this smells already pretty decent <laughs> just opening the box. Um, I like this, it comes with a card. So I, I don't know, I'll check out that card in a minute, but uh, obviously this it's got this little satin bed for the bottle, which I like. So presentation is there. Uh, this is a niche fragrance. So let's check out the atomizer. The bottle itself, uh, pretty typical of an Ashani bottle. Again, this is the 50 ml. Nice gold cap. I like the sort of matte black finish on the bottle. And you have Nishane on the top there. So check out the atomizer. Really good atomizer. And wow. Okay. In the air, very fruity. Almost tropical smelling. Okay. Not what I was expecting from this. Um, it's nice. Okay. Immediately, it, I think Nishane has this sort of DNA, this underlying tone to their fragrances and not something that you typically would want to smell up close because they are so strong. Uh, you can see the oil residue on my hand there of just how potent these fragrances are in terms of oil concentration. Again, X straight day parfum. All right, I'm already liking this one. Loving it, at least on the opening. Really sweet and fruity, uh, smooth, doesn't smell harsh, which can happen with some Nishanes. Has a slight green herbalness to it. There may be a fruit in here, something like Ylang Lang or something along those lines. It has a slight tartness in there as well. Really casual smelling scent. Uh, trying to think of seasons for this. I think warm weather, really. This might be a good season for it. Actually, I'm thinking sort of a night out type fragrance in the summertime. There's a pulpy fruit in here. It's not coconut. It's just, it smells more tropical 
and just juicy, really juicy fruitiness coming from this. I don't know the notes. I'm gonna take a look at the notes really quickly and let you guys know what they are. So the notes for Caragos from Nishane, top notes are grapes, pineapple, and herbal notes. Mid notes are patchouli, neroli, and jasmine. And the base notes are vetiver, oud, and amber. Yeah, so I'm picking up a ton of that fruitiness. The grape accord, beautiful. It's like a bowl of fruits in the dead of summer. It just came in from outside doing yard work or something. It's super hot, you're sweating, and you just wanna grab something quick to sort of refresh. Really nice, very sweet, pleasant, uplifting, fruit, juicy, lovely. All right, so I'm also getting a little bit of earthiness. Some of those woods are starting to come through, some of that vetiver. I'm not picking up specifically oud, but definitely a drier wood. Amber sort of rounding everything out. This is really nice. Really nice scent, very pleasantly surprised already right off the bat. I'm gonna let that sit. I'm gonna bust open the Loewe 7 Cobalt, which is the one that I've been looking forward to the most because you guys have been talking about this one. You've been saying, I have to try it. So let's get into it and check it out. So the Loewe box just opens uh, like this. And you have the scent there. I really like the color of that bottle. Uh, cobalt is accurate. Yeah, it's almost a metallic finish to this bottle, which is very cool. I love that color blue. It actually reminds me of a color. I had a 1985 Ford Bronco too, which honestly I'm kicking myself at this point because those trucks, if you look them up now, are going for a ton of money. And I think mine had died, engine was dead and I had sold it some years back for basically nothing, and I regret that. But th the reason I bring that up is because I wanted to paint it a similar color to this. I thought it would look cool. Uh, yeah, those were my t early 20s. But let's check out the atomizer on this. Great atomizer. I like how it shoots far, and the it's a little bit more of a narrow, uh, stream. Okay, so in the air, it's smelling aromatic, fresh, little bit of sweet, fruity sweetness to it. Yeah, just, this is reminding me of something. Picking up a lot of fruit, not quite sure what the fruit is. Little bit of herbal sweetness to it. Really easy going green, herbal sweetness. Little bit of a grassy feel. Smells really nice. This re is reminding me of something. A little bit spicy. Maybe a Blue Day Chanel or something along those lines. I don't know what this gets compared to. I like it. It's a really kind of classic modern masculine. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it a blue fragrance because it, although it has elements to a blue fragrance, again, with that sort of easygoing herbalness to it mixed with the fruity, aspects a little bit grassy probably vetiver in here clean lavender really nice and i love just the perfect amount of spice here this is really nice guys this is two for two right now with blind buys 100 and you guys were not wrong about the loewe 7 cobalt the nishane total blind buy let's take a look at the nishane really quick yeah wow this is becoming more unique it has a smokiness to it the fruitiness is still there. Maybe some florals coming out now at this point. Really great scent. I think my wife is gonna like this one. I'd be curious to see what she thinks. I picture the Loewe 7 Cobalt just being worn basically in any situation. This is signature worthy, really safe scent. Has a casual vibe to it, but also could be dressed up if you need to. Has that modern, almost uh, grown up feel to it. So if your guy, you know, maybe 25, uh, years old, this might be the perfect sort of next step in your progression. Like if you're right now wearing your Dior Sauvage, this would be a step up from that. It's a little bit more put together. It's a little bit more uh, sophisticated to me. Yeah, just a really great scent. And I'd be curious to see the longevity of these, obviously, the performance. I am expecting great performance from the Nishani. That is without question. The Loewe's I own have all been average or above average performers, so I am expecting pretty good performance from that as well. As always, I am going to talk about these in my weekly wears video because I'm going to wear both of these this week. I'm excited to try both of these, put them through their paces, see how they develop, 
see how they react to the weather. We have really hot weather, humid weather here in the New England area right now. So I think both of these will fit the bill. Nishane, as a, again, I'm seeing that more as a night out fragrance. The Loewe all around her, every day, versatile scent. So happy with both of these. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have any experiences with either one of these fragrances. What are your thoughts on them? I'd love to know. If you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you are updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.